Hey, hey, everybody. It's a Review Revolution. Back at you again with the next in the NECA Player Select Series 2 Resident Evil Archives. Like, that's not a mouthful. <laughs> the Lab Coat Zombie. The Lab Coat Zombie as opposed to the regular zombies because he has... What, a name tag? <laughs> you know? I mean... <clears throat> Why there's this dis distinction between the lab coat and the regular one, other than just to give you an extra zombie figure, I don't know. But there you go, lab coat zombie. I mean, I guess they they were in the game, so they got their own figure. So you'd have more zombies. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, other figures uh, that came out now. This is the series two, and supposedly the archive, which means, from what I could tell, they're really just re-releases of the earlier ones. Chris, the liquor, zombies, Jill, the lab coat zombie, tyrant, hunter, crimson head, or excuse me, hunk, crimson head, and tyrant. I remember pretty much all of these. I didn't remember the tyrant. I couldn't find him when he came out, but I can remember pretty much all the rest of these. And um, for this uh, archive series, Jill, her black variant, the lab coat zombie, and hunter were the only three that I could really find. So. You know, we'll go ahead and, and do those, and we are looking at the lab coat zombie now. But, um, yeah, as far as the other ones, like Hunk in particular, I would really like to get the Hunk. Uh, the Tyrant, I'd like to go ahead and get him too. And there's just a few more regular zombies would actually be pretty awesome. Because I love the, the fact they've got him kind of, four of them all back there. That would just be great to mix and match the lab coat and the regular zombies together. Um, oh, up at the top. I just wanted to point out here, we've got kind of the scenery with the kind of zombies rising out from the uh, from the graveyard, I guess, with uh, a house in the back. Not really the Resident Evil house, but, you know, kind of a farmhouse there. And with the black and white, it gives it a very kind of Night of the Living Dead sort of feel. It's very creepy. I like it. I like that a lot. Uh, on the back, we do have the photo of the lab coat zombie. And with the way it's lit and the, the way the, the uh, figure is shot... It looks great. I mean, it's a it's a really it's a really tempting thing to make you think. Wow, you know what? I want to get this guy open. <laughs> uh, plugs for the video games, which you know we probably won't mention again. But we got the write up. Um, they are once human. Uh, what? Well, <laughs> um, they are once human, but now they're mutants, transformed from the norm by the nuclear goop. Pizza's the food that's sure to please nin these ninjas are into pepperoni and cheese. Back to the story, it's not hard to find. Ninjas not just of the body, but of the mind. Those are the words that the master instructed, but a letter from Shredder had Splinter abducted. That was the last straw. S spring into action. Step on the foot, now they're going to lose traction. Now this is for real, so you fight for justice. Your shell is hard, so you shall... They can't dust us off like some old coffee table. Since we've been born, you've been willing and able to defeat the sneak. Protect the weak. Fight for rights and your freedom to speak. Now the villain is chilling, so you make a stand. Back to the wall, put your sword in your hand. Remember the words of the teacher your master. Evil moves fast, but good moves faster than light. Shining from your illumination, good versus evil equals confrontation. So when you're in trouble, don't give it and go sour. Try to rely on your... And I'm stopping right there. <laughs> it's a, it doesn't say that anywhere on the map. It's amazing what your mind will grab. It's amazing. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> I may just delete this one. <laughs> I, may, I may start this one over, but no, I'll probably keep it. I'll probably keep it. On the back, what it actually says was they were once human, but were infected and, um, uh, and, uh, <laughs> Consensually resurrected by the T-Virus, a zombie will continue its search for food even with s severed limbs or in missing the lower half of its body. So... <laughs> Why didn't somebody stop me? Oh, man. Okay, well, that's a look at the, uh, at the packaging. Uh, stick around. We're going to pop them open and have some fun. Be right back. <laughs> Alright everybody, uh, we're back, and we've got the lab coat zombie out of the pack, and um, yeah, that's <laughs> he's actually pretty gruesome. <laughs> um, really, there are a few issues I have with him, uh, as far as being a figure, 
But uh, in terms of the sculpt and the paint on him, it's actually it's it's fantastic. I mean, it is really really cool. I mean, everything from the sculpting on his flesh, and you can just see you know the pits and the and the and the sunken chest. You know, this huge gash out of his neck and on his head, big old chunk of his head missing. You know, the ruffled, ooh, the, the, the chunk out of the arm, the ruffled uh, uh, fabric, you know, chewed up hands. I mean, everything about it looks fantastic. I mean, it looks great. And the putrefied flesh on the feet, that is disgusting. Look at that. Uh, really, like I say, you know, sculpt-wise, paint-wise, it looks awesome. It looks great on the face. You know, you kind of see that misty-eyed, you know, dead eyes. The mouth kind of hanging open. Just uh, you know, what is it? Uh, the song of the infected. It's called uh, <laughs> uh, the blood-strewn uh, hair. You know, kind of the sticky, stuck-together hair full of blood. The jacket. The, his nice lab coat covered in blood, got stains all over it. You know, nice dry brushing, possibly even just a, a, a single bullet hole in the back of his uh, in his back, possibly where he went down originally, how he w originally went down. Who knows? What's the story of this poor guy? Um, now he is kind of classic NECA, which by that I mean from pretty much the waist down. The feet are pre-sculpted. They're, they're not going to do any kind of, uh, of posing whatsoever. See the back of his feet here. And that is just nasty. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no articulation whatsoever. Not even whereas with Jill, how she has a twist at the boot. No articulation in the feet whatsoever. So kind of this half step, kind of very unsteady pose that he's in. That's how he's going to be standing. Now... Um, on the arms, I mean, there's obviously no articulation in the torso. In the arms, now the arms actually are interesting because they do go up to about here, and they'll twist. But the way the sculpt is is put together, the way the figure is put together, is that the arms are slightly away from the figure. They're kind of, you know, away from the body. So when you stick his arm out. You know, it's never really going to be right in front of him. You know, he's never really going to have kind of this reaching out in front of him kind of thing. Now, there is a twist at the waist, so you can kind of turn to the side, turn the arm out, and then the head, that neck wound looks so nasty. Uh, <laughs> and the head is on a ball joint, so you can kind of turn him this way and have him kind of just kind of spotted you and twisting to come after you. Which is actually pretty cool, you know. If you don't, if you don't really play with the figures, if you just sort of pose them and leave them, you know, you can find some fairly nice poses to get him into. But you are going to be a little limited. You know, you're going to be a little restricted to what you can do. But but I think you'd be satisfied with what you can find. There's quite a bit there that that you actually can come up with. Again, the hands. Oh, that just looks terrible. Ugh. Uh, in the way of his accessories, he does actually come with the crow with some part of someone's innards, I'm guessing, or part of the hand that he happens to be perched on here. Severed hand. This is actually a really cool accessory. I, I kind of like the bird. It's nicely done. Uh, the biggest drawback on it, though, and you can see the sculpting on the feathers... I mean, it's simple. There's nothing you can do with it. It's simple, but it's still actually really nice. Uh, um, the only problem with it, though, is that the hand, when the bird's perched on there, he's not really going to... It's not sculpted so that it lays flat. So he's going to... He's just going to fall over one way or another. Which is probably the biggest disappointment. You know, if they just sculpted the bottom of the hand here into an actual maybe base, made a flat sur flat surface on it, you know, you wouldn't you wouldn't really have seen it much anyway, and it would have been able to let it, the the crow sit even. But such wasn't the case. Still a cool accessory. Still think it's pretty awesome. 
Uh, but um, yeah, that's taking a quick look at uh, the uh, uh, NECA Player Select Series 2 Resident Evil Archive, the Lab Code Zombie. <laughs> uh, so I want to thank everyone for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, join the revolution. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.